Today we will learn about types of quadrilateral and their properties. First of all, let us understand the meaning of the word quadrilaterals. The word quadrilateral is made of quad plus lateral. Quad means four and lateral means sides. A figure made of four sides is called a quadrilateral. Observe the given figures. Among these, one figure is not a quadrilateral. Can you tell me which one? Think for a while. Absolutely true. Figure C is not a quadrilateral. Let's ignore this. If we take any quadrilateral and add the measures of its angles, then the answer will be 360 degree. This is true for each quadrilateral. Therefore, we can say that the sum of all angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degree. This is an important property of a quadrilateral. Now again look at these figures. As you can see that there are so many types of quadrilaterals. To understand these, we classify them into various types. So let's learn about types of quadrilaterals. Rectangle Take a matchbox and observe any one of its flat surfaces you will see a quadrilateral. Place it on a paper and draw its outline. Now find the measure of each angle with the help of a protractor. You will find that each angle is 90 degree, which means that each angle in this figure is a right angle. Similarly, if you take a ruler and measure the length of its sides, then you will find that opposite sides of this figure are equal. Here we can also observe that opposite angles are equal and they are right angles. Since there is an equal distance between the pair of opposite sides, we can say that opposite sides of this figure are parallel. If we make two diagonal lines and measure their length, we will find them to be equal. But they do not intersect each other at 90 degree means they are not perpendicular. We call this figure as rectangle. Such figure in which all angles are right angles and the opposite sides are equal is known as rectangle. Now let's understand parallelogram. Take out the tray of the matchbox and look carefully at its open side. You will see a rectangle. Now apply pressure on one of its sides so that opposite sides seem to be appearing closer. Due to this, the shape of the open side changes. Let's draw its outline on paper. Here the measure of the angles will not remain at 90 degree. Instead, it would have changed. But even then, the opposite sides will be parallel. Such a quadrilateral in which the opposite sides are parallel is known as a parallelogram. Along with being parallel, the length of the opposite sides is also equal. Similarly, opposite angles of parallelogram are also equal, but the diagonals of a parallelogram are neither equal nor are they perpendicular to each other. Now let's understand the rhombus. We have seen that if we take out the matchbox tray and apply pressure on one of its open sides, then a parallelogram is formed. We drew it on paper also. Just think that if all sides of the open part are equal, then also it will be called a parallelogram. Think about it. Yes, it will be a parallelogram because its opposite sides are parallel. As you can see, though this is a parallelogram, all of its sides are equal. A parallelogram in which all sides are equal is known as rhombus. It has its own properties. Like here, its opposite sides are parallel and they are equal. If we measure all its angles, then we realize that its opposite angles are equal. If we talk about its diagonals, then we observe that the diagonals of a rhombus are not equal but they intersect each other at 90 degree, which means these are perpendicular. Now let's talk about the square. Consider that we take a rectangular paper, place one of its corners on the opposite side in such a way that the shortest side falls just above the longest side 
and a right angle triangle is made. Now cut the rectangular part outside of a right angle triangle. Then open the part of the triangle. You will get a quadrilateral which is a bit different than a rectangle. Take a ruler and measure the length of all its sides. Is the length of all sides equal? Yes, the length of all sides is equal. Similarly, with the help of a protractor, if we measure each angle, then each will be of 90 degree, means a right angle. Such a quadrilateral in which all sides are equal and all angles are right angles is known as a square. If we measure its diagonals, then these are equal and are perpendicular to each other, means cut each other at 90 degree. Square is the figure which is a parallelogram, rectangle as well as a rhombus also. Can you find out the reason why this is so? Try this yourself. Now let's learn what is trapezium. Can you make a quadrilateral in which only one pair of opposite sides are parallel? You can pause the video and try this yourself. Let me explain. According to the given condition, we can make the quadrilateral in the following way. A quadrilateral whose one pair of opposite sides are parallel is known as the trapezium. So today we have learned about types of quadrilaterals and their properties. In the next video, we will see some examples on types of quadrilaterals and their properties.